y'all. This is Kansas Roadman coming at you again with another reaction. You damn right. <laughs> Guys and gals, skins and skinettes. I hope that you're ready for this one, y'all. I know that I am. The video that we're going to be reacting to today is called Warner Music Artist Bitch Ass. I, I, I put bitch ass in there. Chase Matthew does music video with guy who raped 13 year old girl? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Were you hanging out with pedos? No. Chase, you hanging out with pedos? You got pedos in your music video. What? Uh, man, what the fuck is going on? I'm ready to dive on in. But before I do, you already know what I'm going to say. Please, please, please. Let me get one of these. One of these. Comment at the bottom. Let me know what you like. Also, hit that red bell and that red subscribe button so you know whenever I drop another video. You're damn right. Now, let's dive on in. Let's get it now. <laughs> well, if you're watching this video right now, this is the moment where Chase will never hit a top 20 on the fucking charts ever again. <laughs> But you didn't cause you're fucking dumb. <laughs> now your whole career is fucking done. You know you <laughs> But you didn't cause you're fucking dumb. <laughs> think after all the shit that I've been through the past fucking few years, being in court, spending over a million dollars in court for no Man. fucking reason. Everyone knows it. It's all out there for everyone to see. It's for no fucking reason. That's because people want to be somebody and they've all wanted to attach to me and then try be cool with me and then shit on me and then leave to boost them up. And it's literally fucking not worked for anybody. That's what the fuck I've been fucking saying, dude. There's so many other fucking people who have done this type of shit to rhyme. What makes you fucking think that you going to be able to fucking do that to him? Dude, I've already said my man's discernment level is motherfucking on a whole nother fucking level, obviously, because of past fucking people, how they've tried to fucking treat him and how they have treated him. And it just don't make no sense. Like, if motherfucker's not paying attention, you're not going to get away with their bullshit. It's just not going to fucking happen. You're not going to use them. You're not going to throw them to the side and then expect to just be okay like that's not that's not okay <laughs> i don't fucking get it i don't get the justin the justin adams i don't fucking get anybody who fucking has had an opportunity katie bitch ass no well who has had a fucking opportunity to be something of their own they choose to fuck it off use somebody not want to work, not want to work, but want to use somebody, want something for nothing. Fuck no. Fuck no. Like Broadneck says, bitch, you don't work, bitch, you don't eat. Shit. Let's get it. And there's a reason for that. It's because you can't bullshit people like us, bro. You just can't do Facts. it. If you're bullshitting people, fucking no. Especially Facts. the kind of people that've been following me for the past seven years, mm. and you know why that is? Because in people like me and the people watching this video, in our life there ain't no fucking easy way out. There ain't so at all, man. We gotta fucking work. We gotta grind harder than everybody else around us in order to do anything. Man, bro, you speaking? Facts. We've been doing it the hard way the whole time, and we are proud of it. And then you try to shit on it. That's when you get the shit thrown at you, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no shame in our game, dude. We've been bullshitters and we... Because cause, cause th this is the thing, and I'm sorry for pausing so much, but I'm a, I am gotta say this, dude. This is the fucking thing. Does he really think that we're fucking stupid? Does he really think that 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 this outlaw shit, being an outlaw in, 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 to, in the music industry and, 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 and being... Uh, you know, connected to your people, truly connected to your people. Does he think that that shit's just fake? Does he think that it's funny? Does he think that it's a fucking joke? And that's what has came to my mind these last, you know, couple days. Like, does he think that we're fucking laughing stock? Do you think that, that we're just dumb as fuck? 
Obvious, obviously, he does. And I ain't with the shit. Fuck him. He been bullshitted. And fuck everybody else who fucking thinks that, you know, they want to go fucking, you know, oh, defend fucking Chase. Fuck you too, bitch. But guess what? We know how to shovel bullshit now, don't we? Yeah, damn! Let me right. help you pull your big fucking jug head out of your fucking asshole <laughs> so I can remind you how a holler boy is supposed to act. Mm. Now let me remind you who the fuck I am and how the fuck I do things. So let's Listen, he's teaching for all the upcoming artists, young artists. Listen, he's teaching you what reminder of what a holler boy right here. Yeah, damn right. Let's go back a little bit. When me and you first got together, you're riding around in this shitty fucking death trap of a Dodge Ram. Man. And at the same time, I just went and bought one of the baddest motherfucking trucks in the world that I've always fucking wanted. Man. That and, and all of this is on uh, on camera. It's it's all documented. You can go back and look. You do it. You're damn right. Black Ford Platinum. And you talking how, man, you know, this thing keeps breaking down on me and this, that, and the other. Do you think I wanted to give you the Ford Platinum? I really didn't. You know what wanted to give you the Ford Platinum? The heart that's inside my chest wanted to give you the fucking Ford Platinum. Cause a holler boy doesn't want to see somebody struggling. Right. Trying to keep his truck running to do what he's got to do. Man. Your fucking dream was music. You can't do it riding around in a fucking big ass Dodge Ram with fucking dry rotted. It starts with your heart, man. I've, I've said this and I, I posted something on my Instagram that said great men <coughs> great men do great things because they put their heart first. You put your heart first and you're not thinking about I, things, whatever, man. Chase, your bitch ass. I did 38s on it that fucking the drive shaft keeps falling out of. How the fuck you supposed to get to a show driving that? Hmm. You see that right there? That is a holler boy. It starts getting warm outside. Me and all my homies are out running around on fucking Harleys and stuff. And your bike breaks down. Man. I just went and bought me the first supermoto I ever bought in my life. I was excited as fuck to have it. I was like, fuck yeah, I got a supermoto. This is sick. I asked you one day, hey, you want to ride? Man, I can't. My bike broke down. I sat there for a minute. And I was like, man, I just bought that supermoto. I don't really want to give it away, but I mean, you know, That's dude, crazy. kid ain't got a fucking bike to ride. That's fucking crazy! What did I tell you? I said, come get this supermoto. You can have it. Wow. That's a holler boy, dude. <laughs> and it. This, this dude, Ryan, man, that ain't the first time he's giving away vehicles or bikes or giving away anything. My man's heart is in the right place. And you can tell in his eyes, man, that he did not know that Chase was going to pull this motherfucking bullshit. You can tell, dog. My man has a fucking good ass fucking heart. Gave you a fucking truck. Gave you a fucking bike. Gave you the fucking platform. Gave you the fucking blueprint. Taught you the ropes. Taught you how to fucking do it. And you shit on him. I want to know why. I want to know fucking why. Can you give me that answer? We ain't even got to the part who the fuck you're hanging out with, you sick motherfucker. It ain't because you was my artist, dickweed. This is who the fuck I am. Exactly. That is, like I just said, my man, don't just, he, dude, it ain't because he was your, his artist. He's giving away uh, tons of shit, dude, to people. And people have sold it. People have given it fucking away. People have shit on them. Chase. And hey, younger kids out there, boys, girls. Listen up. I want y'all to hear me when I say this. I want to tell y'all a story real quick before we go any further. Mm. This is my favorite example of what a holler boy is. And it's because of what was noticed, who the person was, and what was done, and what the person said back to me. Mm. I used to get up on, when I used to live on North Pole in the other house... I'd get up every morning, I'd sit in my chair upstairs, and I would watch outside. I would just look outside, watch people driving on the street. My next door neighbor, I noticed he got up every morning, five o'clock, go to work, five o'clock, go to work, five o'clock, go to work, every fucking morning. Teach. Bunch of tools, had all his work clothes on. Teach. Five o'clock, every morning, every morning, every morning. One morning, I go upstairs, I got my coffee, 
I'm looking out the window. I'll never forget this. It was a cloudy day and it was fucking drizzling rain. His car wasn't in the driveway. But you know where he was at five o'clock in the morning? He was sitting on the front porch with all of his tools and all of his work clothes, mm. waiting for some other workers to come pick him up at five o'clock in the morning. Mm. A few days go by, and all those days, he was on the front porch with all of his tools at five o'clock in the morning with no car in the driveway. Mm. The workers who came to pick him up every day came at the same time. You know Woo! why? Because even if they didn't hear from him, they would know that he they was knew. reliable enough that he would be sitting on that porch right. waiting to go to work. One morning, they pull up to get him. Hell, he would he would see him pull onto the damn street, and he would get up so they didn't even have to pull in the truck. Man, dude. They jumped in the truck, and they kept going around the block. Woo! As they pulled off and he went to work, I was like, man, this dude's been on it. He's been up every day with or with no car, making it work. Right. I thought to myself, what vehicle do I have that you can put work tools in? Man, dude. It's easy to work on, semi-cheap on gas. It runs good enough to get him to where he needs to go. The only vehicle I had, and everyone knows I keep vehicles that are in music videos. Right. The only vehicle I could think of that I had that would fit that category of what he's doing was my old white Tahoe that's in the music video, Miss My Buddies. Mm. I could use an little truck on Song, I drank bro. my coffee, I went down to the tag place in Ashland City, I got a duplicate title, and when he got home, I gave him the title of that truck because he needed it more than I did. Man, dude. He told me, no. Nah. He was dude. like, I Man, can't take dude. this. He said, y'all, do y'all fucking see that, dude? My brother is fucking... Crying, bro, because his heart was so filled with wanting to fucking bless this neighbor of his, man. Because his neighbor, shout out to his neighbor, man. And shout out to the people like him that work their asses off and that are consistent and that are up at that early time every morning. Every morning, whatever time that you go to work, whatever it is, man, shout out to you for holding it down. Even when you don't have a card or it may look like I can't get to work. He made a fucking way. He made a way while Ron was over here watching him. He's making a way. So Ron felt, I need to bless this dude because he's putting in the work. I see it. He's seen. Ron is a good ass fucking dude. He ain't just doing this just to fucking do it. It, it. it just amazes me, man, that people treat this dude like shit. They motherfucking say all these things about him, bad things about him. But this shit that he's talking about wasn't on camera. That. That right there is how you know that what he's saying about his heart is true and it's real. My man has tears falling from his eyes right now because he knows, he knows that feeling of busting that ass, waking up that motherfucking early to get a check, to start. Support his family. Mm. Bo, he's speaking. Let's get back into it. Let's go. He said, well, when I do get me something else, I'll just give it back to you. And I was like, don't Man. even worry about it. Man. This this eliminates that problem for you. And, and, and I'm sorry for pausing again, but that just goes to show his neighbor's heart, too, man. His neighbor's heart, too. He said, bro, nah, you're good. You're good. I don't need it. No, nah, man. No, no, no. All right, bet, bet. Well, when I get a, another car, I'll give it back to you. Like, bruh, that dude's heart is, is a good heart, too. <laughs> great men do, do, do great things when they put their, their, their heart first. Put your heart first, man. You're one of these kind of people that you deserve this shit. That's yeah. a holler boy. 
somebody who does something for somebody, even though it's not beneficial for themselves. Facts. Out of the goodness of their heart, they know that it's beneficial for them, so they do it anyways. Mm. Selflessness. Mm. And you can't fucking teach that, obviously. And you know what? Looking back now and knowing some of the shit that I do now, which we're about to get into here in 30 fucking seconds, Woo! I knew there was something up. When I wasn't getting invited to none of these fucking meetings. Oh, Ooh. and if you guys don't believe me, why don't you Google pictures of me in these fucking meetings with Chase? Why don't you tell them to come up with some pictures of me being in these fucking meetings with Chase? Oh shit. Where are the pictures at, Boa? Where the fuck are the pictures at, Chase? Y'all weird, man. Y'all weird. Your whole fucking camp is weird. That's weird shit. For everything you said, bruh, in them videos. Holla boy, holla boy to the end, holla boy to the end. Fuck you, boy. You ain't no motherfucking holla boy. You ain't no motherfucking holla boy, bruh. Come on, man. The dude who inspired you, you said that he inspired you. You, you can't have my man in, 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 in the meeting, bro. He's the motherfucking CEO, right? Why the fuck the CEO ain't in the meetings, bro? That's weird shit. This is my thing, man. You didn't have to sign that fucking paper, bro. You didn't have to sign that dotted line. You didn't have to. Nobody fucking held a gun up to your head and told you to sign that shit. You know, like I said, man, you know what I would have done? You know what I would have fucking done? I would have told my manager, hey, man, let me get a little fucking thinking time, bro. Let me get 24 hours. Told the label, let me get 24 hours, man. And if they didn't like it, fuck y'all. Fuck off. Fuck it, you know? And I would have took that contract, would have took it home. <laughs> would have made a video and been like, fuck you, Warner. you damn right. <laughs> fuck you, manager. Fuck you, label. Fuck all of y'all, man. Nah, man. And I would have hit up Ryan. You know? I'm like, yo, man. Told him what everything that went going down, man. You didn't have to fucking do that, Chase. Nah, bro. You wanted to. You wanted to. And it's sad, man. Let's get let's get back into this. Let's do it. Y'all damn right. <laughs> There's only two pictures you're gonna see. The one where I'm already sitting in my motherfucking house with him beside me. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's not a goddamn meeting. That's me in my fucking house. Mm -hmm. The other picture you're going to see is me and Chase and like four other fucking people. Guess what? That wasn't a meeting either. That was me meeting the people that he was going to be working with. So I guess I never got invited to any fucking meeting. Wow. Even when I come to him and said, yo, I want to be in these meetings too, bro. Wow. I just live right here. I'm 15 minutes from Nashville. Wow, so my man told you, dog. He told you. Uh, you're fucking weird. You're fucking weird, Chase, Matthew, and your whole fucking damn camp. Y'all weird for that shit. If you're having a meeting, call me. I'll come sit in. He's the CEO, motherfucker. He's the motherfucking label, dog. Why the fuck he ain't in the meeting? Why he ain't the first person in that bitch? Go find me a picture of me sitting in on a fucking meeting, bro. It's fucked You're not up, gonna dude. fucking find one. And you wanna know why I think I wasn't in on any of these talks and I didn't know what the fuck was going on, really? Because if I was in on these meetings and I knew some shit that was going on, been like, County man. Line would not be on YouTube right now, Damn. fellas. Do you Damn. wanna know why it wouldn't be online right now, fellas? Oh man, y'all are about to fucking go nuts. Me too! So the co-star that's in the music video for County Line with Chase, Chase's buddy, yeah, you're not gonna find any pictures on his Instagram of them together, but guess what? I'm about to show you a lot of them. That guy got arrested and ran from the cops because he raped a 13-year-old girl. You heard me right! Tonight, a man arrested in Mississippi is being brought back to... See the face charges oh, this, he raped. Oh, this shit was on the news. Oh, a 13 shit. year old girl in Hendersonville. 27 year old Brandon Whitehurst is a suspect. Sick fuck. Was found in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. These are the type of people you like fucking hanging out with, Chase. People who rape 13 year old girls. You're 
fucking sick, dog. He's your, he's your buddy. He's being held there pending his extradition back to Sumner County. Whitehurst is from Springfield. Then to give that girl. Wow. That is fucking him. That is, dude. Chase, I don't fucking get you, dude. You literally blowing my fucking brain right now. You're fucking sick. And I hope you never chart again. I hope that you fucking are done with, with, with making music because this shit is fucking disgusting, bro. How can you associate yourself have this fucking dude in your video and he raped a 13-year-old girl. Why would you keep the video up? Why? So fucking sad and so fucking disgusting, dude. Ooh. Okay. Let's get back into this, man. This little bitch's mugshot. And when I say little bitch, I mean an actual literal little bitch. Whoa. He's five foot four. Bitch. Look at his mugshot. <laughs> Here's what I want to know. You're probably getting your ass beat. And rightfully so. You're damn right. Why the fuck did I know about this? That's sick. Why man. didn't I know about this guy being your friend? That's crazy. Hmm? That's why didn't crazy. I know about this? You know why I didn't know about this? You know why I wasn't in on this conversation? Because if I was in on this conversation, I said, you take get this. your fucking ass over there to that computer take and you take down. that fucking music video down now. Yeah, you could have redid it. You could have redid the fucking music video, bro. You didn't have to keep a 13-year-old rapist in your music video. Common sense. But then again, common sense ain't so fucking common. Nowadays. And then I would have said, and then you're going to make a fucking video calling this motherfucker out or I'm going to punch you in the fucking head. And Whoa. you want to know something else, guys? Wow. You're not going to find any pictures of this dude and Chase together before this county line video on his fucking social medias anywhere. But guess what was brought to my attention tonight? Hmm. A fuck ton of pictures and videos of him and this fucking dude touching their ding-dings together hanging out. Long before this. <laughs> Touching their dang things together. Hanging out. <laughs> look, Chase. <laughs> and look, y'all. I'm not I am not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at the way Ron is saying this shit. Because <laughs> Chase. What the fuck is going through your brain, dog? When you're hanging out with the guy who fucking rapes 13-year-old girls. What's going through your mind every time you see that fucking video when you see him and you know that he's raped 13-year-old girls? Why wouldn't you take it down after the fact or whatever? I don't know when this happened, but why wouldn't you take it down? Redo the music video. Simple as punch. Like, I don't fucking get it. Make that shit make sense for me. Somebody in the comments, make that shit make sense to me. Take the video down, re-fucking do it. Simple as plain. Just like, take the fucking, whatever the fuck you're lying about in that motherfucking article, change it. Simple and plain, dog. You're fucking weird, though. County line video, so I don't even want to fucking hear old men hired in actors. Fuck you. Wow. Wow. Bro, I wonder what the fuck y'all really be fucking doing, Chase? Fucking weirdo. Why? Oh, shit, dog. Oh, shit. Hell, I didn't even give you a video of y'all dancing around in the fucking studio with each other. Wow. People call it heaven. Some people call it hell. I guess it's what you're making. What the so fuck is sick of? Look, what? what else gets sent to me tonight? Damn, Chase, you have a song with this guy, too? Oh, wait, never mind. He's got two songs with the guy who raped a 13-year-old girl. What the fuck? Oh, bro, you're done. You're done, son. 
You're done, son. Oh yeah, everybody That's is fucking done. nasty, bro. I got a daughter, bro. I got a fucking daughter, bro. You ain't got kids, Chase. I got a daughter, bro. Fuck you, bro. I'm being dead ass serious. You nasty motherfucker, bro. Hey, don't G Hurst, he fucking sucks. Oh, well, what do you know? He wasn't bastard. just in County Line. The guy who raped a 13 year old girl is in another music video with Chase, dude. I'm dude, not fucking lying. What is Look. up with him and this fucking dude? Y'all, y'all love, like, oh man. Those right. with a small circle never gave up on my face, but I'm swear to God that I've heard it all from Mick T to Steve. Wow. Feels like I'm doing well. Well, I wonder how well you'll be doing now. Uh, probably <laughs> not too well since your demographic is 13 year old girls on TikTok. Not only that, you sick motherfucker, boy. Hey, any fucking body out there that got kids, especially little girls, little 13 year old girls that like Chase Matthew. You might want to get them. You might want to get them. Don't let them go to no motherfucking concert. Don't let them. Oh, shit. Boy, you done fucked up. That shit's nasty. Dumb fucking piece of shit. Why is the video still up? If you're friends with this guy and you was... All of those videos, you sick motherfucker. I'm going to tell you why. I ain't watched this, but I'm going to let you know. I think I know. I think I know. I got a really good, uh, you know... Uh, thought on what, why? Money. Money. Weird motherfucker, boy. You put him in all your videos. T you can, bro, you gotta take them down, dog. You nasty ass. I was friends with this fucking dude, and you know all this. Why is that video still up? Weird motherfucker. That's a pretty popular song for 13-year-old girls on TikTok. Man! Okay? What about the 13-year-old girl that got raped, you dumb motherfucker? You wow. know what you should do? You should take the motherfucking video down. I'll tell you why. One, because you should have enough morals to fucking get rid of it because there's a child rapist in the fucking video. Two, you should take it off for that 13-year-old girl that's got to fucking hear and see that song with that fucking dude in it all the time. But see, your brain got... Say that shit again! You're damn right! You're damn right! The fuck, dude? You gonna you're re-traumatizing up her every time, bro. You leave every time somebody plays that video or she sees it or or whatever, or that's up, dude. Every second that it's up, bro. Oh man, I need to fucking chill out because I'm motherfucking getting pissed, dude. I don't fucking do pedos, man. I don't do that shit. I don't fucking do that shit, bro. I don't fucking uh-uh. Hell to the nah, bro. You gonna have to take them videos. Down, cause that's foul, bro. That's foul ball. You don't work like that, cause you ain't cut from this cloth. You're a bitch. You're damn. And if right. you come up to me starting some shit, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Mm. And if your friends got something to say, well, guess what? My friends are way fucking crazier than your motherfucking friend. And anybody running with you around here can get knocked the fuck out too. You damn. You know right. why you won't delete the video and have some fucking morals, man? Because the video has big number. Mm, That's all mm. you give a fuck about is a big fucking number. Big you don't number. care if there's a child rapist That's running around up. in it. You run around with your fucking cross tattoo behind your ear and you don't have enough decency to get rid of the video. Damn, because of everything I just said. If it was me, I'd delete the video. Go on. Hell, why don't you why don't y'all all go try to find Broadway girls, dude? It had 50 the Broadway girls remix with me and Chase. Yeah, it had 50 million views. They you did know not what I did? I fucking deleted it just because I don't like him anymore. Hey, hell yeah. Hey, what and that is your motherfucking right. But I'm going to say this, man. It was a banger ass motherfucking song. You killed that part. Fuck his part. You killed that shit. You, you, Bubba, you need to redo that with somebody else. You need to redo that with somebody else and drop a fucking even hotter fucking version of it. Yeah, damn Right. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's get back into it. And delete his little bitch ass baby video of 27 million, even though a child rapist is in it. That's crazy. And just to think, your first song with Warner Music Nashville is a song called She Loves Jesus. Oh my gosh! So now you have a song out there with a guy who raped a 13 year old. Uh, the guy who raped a 13 year old is in your music video. Both of those things are still online with the guy who raped the 13-year-old. 
And Multiple now you have videos. a song called She Loves Jesus coming out with Warner Nashville. Wow. Who in the fuck is going to stand behind this single or any other single you're ever going to put out? <laughs> right. Well, I can tell you this dipshit. It ain't going to be the people who go to church. No pun intended. Hell, I hope it's fucking Whoa. nobody. Hope no pun intended. You're damn right. It ain't going to be people that go to church. But your next show you have, I hope every fucking member of Creek Squad that's there boos the fuck out of you so loud that no one can hear your shitty fucking songs. And by the way, I know your team of fairies is going to go get their coffee and scarfs this morning because it's kind of cold outside. Hmm. And they're all going to meet in a room and be like, we're totally taking him to court. Fuck all y'all. Sue me. Guess what? Make me the brokest motherfucker in Nashville, dog. I'm ready. You want to know why? Because I've already been broke before, motherfucker. Mm. And guess what? I know how to work. And Man. you know what? I'd rather be the brokest motherfucker on the block with the most integrity than the richest motherfucker who ain't respected by no motherfucking body. Woo! 615, bitches. Fuck around and find out. You're damn right! Oh, and by the way, you can keep the fucking Ford Platinum, asshole. I don't fucking want it back. There's a chance that a fucking child rapist sit in it. I'm good. And hey, Warner, I bet you're hella proud of your artist now, aren't you? Don't even worry about changing that fucking article. <laughs> Whoever wrote it did a great job. Wow. Checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> man, y'all, this is why we love Ron, man. This is why we ride for him. This is why we got his back. Because this dude literally just said, man, make me broke. Bitch, make me broke, bitch. I know how to motherfucking work. I've been broke before. That's why we ride with him, man. Because he connects to these, to 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 the to the the regular folk, man. Blue collar motherfuckers like us, bro. Like, I love this dude, man. He's with the shit, and thank you, Ryan, for. Bringing this out into the light because Chase, bro, you're you're weird as fuck, nasty as fuck, and it ain't fucking cool. It is not fucking cool to keep videos up of of, of a guy that you're friends with who raped a thirteen year old girl. It's not cool to to do that. It's not. Most love, Ryan. Fuck you, Chase. You're damn right.